Hello everybody, this is the Masked Analyst. I'd like to talk today about M.G. Pappas' accusation that SMP Films cheated and his remedy that uh, Mr. Corey should pull all his films from YouTube. Let me explain my biases first before I go on. I'm a big fan of Mr. Safeties. I think his videos are absolutely tremendous. Uh, they're hysterical and I encourage people to watch them. Uh, having said that, M.G. Pops is on target in his analysis most of the way. He's absolutely right when he takes Renato to task uh, for saying that unless it's via written down in the rules that you can't do something, it's okay. Basically, Renato's rules of anything goes is not uh, does not hold water in my book. Just because something is legal does not necessarily make it right. If you were to argue that, then you would take the stand that the first person to use steroids in baseball was doing nothing wrong just because the rules hadn't been written yet against it. And that's not right. Okay, but M.G. Pappas points out that, hey, there were rules specifically written that you can't have robots used to artificially inflate your video count. And SMP uh, Films violated that rule. Therefore, he argues, Mr. Corey should take down all his films. Well, that is sort of a draconian recommendation, a dra draconian punishment, especially since Mr. Safety uh, said that he was not aware at the time of the cheating. It was an employee of his that did this, unbeknownst to him while he was on tour. Now, this is a mitigating circumstance. doesn't get him totally off the hook. Uh, after all, he did have some responsibility. He turned over the password of his account and told his employee to go ahead and use the account uh, and promote his films. But he should have, when he did this, he, he did have an obligation to say what was and what wasn't permitted. And he should have spelled out to his employee what the rules were. So he, he is at least partially at fault. But again, since he didn't know what was happening at the time, it shouldn't be held in the same light as if he were uh, knowledgeable and that he did this intentionally to uh, to screw everybody else up in order to raise himself up. Another point to mention is that he is incredibly talented. Even if he did cheat it, unless you're talented, you can cheat your way up, but you're not going to stay up at the top very long if you're not if you're not good. Conversely, I believe that anyone who is as talented as he, as he is would rise up to the top eventually. It might take a few months longer. It will take some more time, but there's no doubt in my mind that he would be where he is today, even if this event had not happened. I mean, if you have any doubt about it, just take a look uh, at his satire, I Will Not Pay, on the Numa Numa dance. That is undoubtedly a classic, and people will be playing that for a long time to come, I think. Uh, now, what punishment is appropriate considering that he didn't realize at the time that this cheating was going on? Well, it seems to me pulling all the videos is too harsh. It's kind of like sentencing someone to 10 years in jail for stealing a loaf of bread. Not only that, it's also punishing his subscribers because quite truthfully, and here I admit my bias, I don't want to be without my Mr. Safety. <laughs> I don't want to lose, uh, all of a sudden wake up one day and uh, not be able to see his stuff. So there's my bias. But here's what I would recommend. Why not have him feature an artist, a different artist, once a month for the next six months. So there'll be six art artists that he features. He's tremendously popular and by highlighting an, an artist he will uh, give aid to somebody who's not as well known, not very well known, and he'll help pull some people up who might not otherwise have had a chance to get up. That to me seems to be the best remedy considering the only crime, and I use the word crime in quotes, he did, uh, the only impact it had is it may have prevented a few artists from taking a spot in the most feud. And let me recommend one artist in particular. His music just blew my mind away. His name is Lem Kuyper, and he sounds a lot like Mike Oldfield. His music is very much in that style. 
amazing music. I particularly recommend Calaneus. In fact, I'm going to play a minute. I'm about to sign off, and I'm going to play a minute or so of his music. And I'm leaving a link in my description. So if you like what you see, you can go visit his site and watch his music. And I'm hoping that Mr. Safety will feature him so that he can get the exposure he deserved. And that would be the most appropriate uh, way to make this criticism go away. Uh, he's He would be returning to the community. What more could you ask? What more can one reasonably ask of somebody? I think that should settle things out. Well, this has been the Masked Analyst under an end.